Is pCloud good? What are all the features? How much it costs? Well, in today's video, I will clear all the mist. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if you want to get a discount on pCloud, you can check out the first link in the description. First of all, let's talk about the files and their sharing features. So when you download and install the pCloud app on your Mac or Windows device, it will add a cloud drive next to your other drives. So when you open your computer, it will show a new drive that functions just like your other partitions. You can put any file in this drive and it will automatically be uploaded to your pCloud account. Then you can access those files from anywhere. Now, if you want to share these files with others, there are all kinds of settings like you can disable downloads, set passwords and expiration and see download stats on your public links. Or if you are a brand, you can also add a logo on the preview page. You can also share folders. And if you work in a collaborative space, you can enable file uploads to that folder. And they don't require to have a pCloud account to upload into that. And if you are worrying about the per file cap, then you will be happy to know that there is no upload limit per file. You can upload files as big as you like, which makes it perfect for video editors and graphic designers. Other than that, they have 30 days of work version history so you can recover any of your files from the last 30 days. You can also rewind your account for up to 30 days too and you can extend that up to a year at an additional cost. Next, I would like to talk about its media player and management. It has a great file management and preview functions. You can listen to audio files directly from the web interface. You can also preview video files as well. And they have a far better player than other cloud storage services. They even convert the video files too so you can play them at a lower resolution. Talking about the transfer speeds, it's one of the fastest compared to other services. This is how it stacks up with other services. Now don't expect these speeds on the free plan as they have reserved speeds for the paid customers, which is totally fair. Coming down to privacy, here we get zero knowledge encryption. This means that you can encrypt your files and no one else would be able to see those files. So only you hold the keys and no one would be able to decrypt those files, not even pCloud. So make sure to keep it in a safe place. Now a drawback of this feature is that it is served as an add-on by pCloud and it's called crypto encryption. So if you want to avail this feature, then you have to pay extra. While other services like iDrive has this feature included in all the plans. So if you want to check iDrive, you can find the full review from the top right corner. Also, I will leave 90% discount link of iDrive in the description as well. However, if you don't get the add-on, the service still secures your data quite well. They have 256 bit of encryption for your data and store your files, five copies in different servers. That add-on is just for those who want to store some sensitive data. Another feature in terms of privacy we have is that we get the option to store our files in US or EU region. Storing your files in the EU region is much better option as they have better laws in terms of privacy as compared to the US. And it is much cheaper than compared to their encryption add-on. So if privacy is your concern, then you can opt in for this setting as well. Let's talk about pricing. Now there is something that no other cloud storage service offer is that pCloud offers lifetime plans. You are not renting, you are buying the storage for life. So no more annual fees and all. Though it would be a bit expensive as it's only a one-time investment. So here are all the plans. As you can see, they offer 500 GB of lifetime plan for $200. 2 TB of plan is for 400 and 10 TB is for 1190. If you want to go for yearly plan, then it's $50 for 500 GB and $100 for 2 terabytes, which is quite good in terms of pricing when compared to other services like Google or Microsoft. However, there is one service that I personally use the most and that's iDrive. And pricing wise, it's way cheaper than pCloud. Let's see if you buy 500 GB plan on the pCloud, it's $50 while on the iDrive it's less than $8 for the first year and after that it's $10 it's crazy. And you know what is even crazier? For a 5 terabyte plan, it's $8 for the first month. Though you won't have a lifetime plan on iDrive, but still I have to give it to iDrive for pricing. And overall the service is great. So if you want to check out pCloud or iDrive, make sure to go through the links in the description. But that's been it for today. I hope I gave you a better view at pCloud. Now it's time for you to decide. Let me know which one you end up with. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.